Hey water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and of course those of you cross-watching as well. Uh, welcome to your tarot love messages here. So today we're going to take a look at and see whom the universe is sending into your life next. This is going to be a general reading. Please just be mindful of that. If you are after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video. I guess this reading here is more tailored to those of you that are single and are looking. You know, you're open and re receptive and you're ready to invite this, you know, your special someone, perhaps even the one, into your life. So let's go ahead and see whom the universe is sending to you here, guys. Okay, so it appears as though the universe here is definitely going to be sending someone whom you're going to be very much connected to. You're going to be very drawn to this individual, um, both physically, okay, because of their appearance. It feels as though there's going to be a lot of chemistry, um, a very strong sexual energy here, um, a very strong sense of attraction, but it will stem beyond that. It will just stem, like, it won't just be a connection that's primarily based on physical attraction. Okay, it, it feels like it's going to go so much deeper than that here, which is why the universe wants you to be patient, okay, because it feels like for a lot of you, it feels like you've been waiting a long time here for some of you, for those of you watching and listening, I feel like you can relate to the fact that when it comes to relationships, you haven't always had the best uh, luck here. Um, it feels as though you've got a lot of lo love to give and at times you may be flowing it towards the wrong person here. So some of you, I feel like maybe even you've given up somewhere along the way, you've given up on love here, okay? But it feels like what the, the person that the universe here wants, you know, wants to send into your life and wants for you to connect with, it feels like there's going, it feels like there's like a, a great deal of um, patience is required around this energy and around this connection. Now, for some of you, I feel like maybe this is a past energy. This is someone whom you have been connected to in the past, but for whatever reason, it feels like timing may have not been on your luck here. Timing may not have been very favorable. For whatever reason, it may not have worked out. So I feel like for some of you, this is a past energy and this is a past person whom you were connected to in the past. There were some circumstances, internal or external, that somehow disrupted the flow and the, uh, the equilibrium, the balance of your connection here. But it feels like the universe here wants to give you a second chance. It feels like the universe here wants to um, wants the two of you to cross paths again together. It feels like this person is still, is very much orchestrated into and interwoven into your destiny. And it feels like there is going to be a reconciliation or reunion of some sort with a past person, someone whom you felt extremely attracted to, like moth or an insect to a flame kind of a attraction. You were very drawn to this individual. Now, for some of you, you didn't know this individual very well, which is why you may have found it very bizarre that you were you felt so connected to them, even though you didn't know a great deal about them. But at the end of the day, you just couldn't explain what it was, right? There was this intense attraction, this connection, this you know, you wanted to get close to this person, you wanted to get to know them, and then all of a sudden, you may have been robbed of the opportunity to do so. As I've mentioned, there were some internal or external influences, and it feels like perhaps the timing at which everything occurred there wasn't right, either for you as an individual or for your energy, but something about a second chance gives you the opportunity to do it right, okay, to get it right this time.
especially second time around here so it's going to be very special because it seems like it's a homecoming it seems like it's a reunion and it seems like it's a reconciliation of some sort and this is why I feel like the the notion of waiting here your waiting is going to pay off okay irrespective of whether you're waiting for a you know a past lover to return um, a former flame to return or whether you're waiting for the one or whether you're waiting for you know a special person I feel like your waiting here is finally going to pay off because a lot of you I feel like you didn't you've had the opportunity okay you've had the opportunity to connect with um, romantic energies and to you know um, dive into a relationship but you didn't want to settle for mediocre you did not necessarily want to waste your time nor their time it felt like you don't want mediocre you don't want average you want fireworks or nothing at all this is what i'm picking up for you and fireworks is what you shall get because i feel like there is so much attraction and there is going to be so much spark like this the sparks are flying within this connection so much so that it's enough to start a fire here so quite an intense um a lot of emotional intensity and quite an intense attraction and connection between you and this energy here. Strong fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. Someone whom I did mention, I felt like you have past, um, you ever have a past connection or you have a past with this person. Someone who is a bit of a slow burning connection to me, it feels like either this person is someone who's a little bit shy or they may be hesitant. Now, it feels like this person that's coming into your life is someone who is very much going to be invested, invested into building a connection, into getting to know you um, personally and intimately. This is someone who wants something that will go the distance. Okay, so they're not looking, they're not looking for Mr. or Mrs. right now. They're looking for Mr. or Mrs. right. Okay, they're in it for the long haul. And this is why it, this person feels like a slow burning energy because I feel. To me, it feels like this is someone who wants to get to know someone properly as opposed to, you know, rushing the process, rushing through things and having things, you know, backfire in the end. This is someone whom you may at times get a little bit irritated with the pace um, that the individual happens to travel along, but best believe it's because this person wants to be sure, okay? They want to be sure and they are investing for the long term. They're thinking, you know, especially with the Seven of Pentacles, this is a card of long-term visions it's it's holding the long-term visions you know all the efforts that you're putting into an energy or a connection you know you think about all the long you think about the long-term benefits that that it will entail here now i feel like with this person's energy they're very financially independent very financially secure there is an abundant energy around them i feel like they're very loved by family and close friends i feel like they're very personable there's a warmth um, a vibrancy and enthusiasm to them. Um, I feel like this person has also traveled quite a fair bit. Now they've got either a large like circle of family or friends. I feel like they make friends everywhere they go here. Just a very warm energy. There's a lot of growth around this person. So I feel like in the past, I'm going to say in the past couple of months here, yeah, this person has undergone a lot of growth and a lot of spiritual development. They've They've had like um, endings and beginnings of cycles. They've had this transitional and transformational energy that surrounds them. So they've gone through a lot of changes, which what I feel like um, has really put them into has really put them into this phase in their life where they're ready to settle down and they're ready to meet the one and they're ready for you know. The, this is someone who does want to get married, by the way. This is someone who is very traditional in a sense. I feel like he or she is a bit of a traditionalist and they seek a traditional partner and they want to do things the traditional way so that's coming up very strongly in their energy i'm also seeing either this person is someone who's really big on kids so they will be wanting kids in the future it's it's very likely that the two of you you may fall pregnant here to this individual the two of you might go on to have children or it feels like there's sort of like a rebirth um, like a new cycle, an ending of an old cycle, a beginning of a new cycle around this person's energy. So a lot of transformation and transitioning happening around this individual, especially at this point in time. Um, this is someone who's very, I did mention they're very financially independent, very financially secure here. But I feel like they've built something from the ground up. So I'm seeing that this person has a business of their own. They may have gotten the, you know, some help, like a helping hand from a family member or a close friend here. But for the most part, I feel like they're really... Um, they've done a lot of things on their own here, okay? Um, they're in a position to give. They're very generous here. 
This person is, is very generous with their money and their resources, also as well as their time and their energy here. This is someone who's going, who, who is going to be or who is already. They're loyal, they're committed, they're, depend, they're very dependent, they're very reliable here. They're very reliable here. Very, they've got a very practical sense to them and they've got a very great energy here. Very practical, logical here. This is someone whom I feel like this is going to be your next. Now, for some of you, this is going to be like your next serious relationship. For a handful of you watching and listening, yeah, you've had romantic relationships before. You've had connections before, but never like this. Never like this. Because what will happen here is early on from the connection, early on from when you guys cross paths, there is just something, okay, whether it's a synchronicity, whether it's just a feeling, there's just something that you're going to get and you're going to feel about this person that makes you feel as though, all right, this is the one, okay, this is the one whom you're going to go the long haul with, this is the one whom you're going to go, you know, into the future with, there's just a knowing, there's just a certainty and a knowing here, um, so definitely new beginnings here, aces usher in new beginnings, and notice the sprouting ones, there is just so much room for the two of you to grow as individuals and as a couple within this connection here. Now I did mention that things are going to happen slowly, but once this person makes up their mind on, like makes up their mind here, and once this person, you know, becomes certain here, then you'll find that things will really take off. Okay? Things will just really take off. But not like in a, it doesn't give me the impression that it's rushed, but it's just very fluid, very organic. It just will flow here. All right, guys, and this is your message. So thank you as always for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to the channel, liking, sharing, um, or commenting. Also, for those of you interested in a personal reading, feel free to connect. Otherwise, take care, guys. Bye for now.